everyone welcome back to my channel for today's video i thought that i would film a little prep with me pack with me go to dubai on friday which is very exciting so i thought we could spend the week together whilst i have my lashes done my lashes are in desperate need it's not funny um i need to pack um i bought some new things as well so i'll show you what i've bought little haul i did a pretty little thing haul. i feel like plt is the perfect place when you are kind of last minute trying to find outfits for holiday um first up is the eyelashes so we're running that. We're gonna go and get these lashes done. They're looking crusty and dusty. Um, let's go. I didn't film in the eyelash appointment. I was too shy. Um, but I'm just coming on to show you my lashes. They look, oh, they look amazing. They look so good. I love when they're voluminous. I always ask for a hybrid, um, like little cat eye moment. Um, I'm obsessed. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I've changed the settings on my camera. I didn't realize that I had them on like really zoomed in for some reason which is so embarrassing because whenever i've been filming videos like every single video i've ever filmed on this camera has been zoomed in so i'm hoping you're enjoying this wider lens i hope it's obvious like it i feel like it's more obvious when i'm holding the camera excuse the mess this is the packing situation that we are going to tackle well first i'm just going to put some makeup on because i'm feeling a little bit pale a little bit worse for wear but the lashes are looking amazing i am obsessed Tomorrow we have brows, which is very exciting, and I need to go to the Traffic Centre to get some last minute bits. I'm really eyeing up the Celine Triumph sunglasses, and there's some Mew Mew ones as well that I want to pick up. So I'm going to see if they've got them. I need to run to Primark just to get some last minute bits. Um, I need to get some trainer socks, which is so random. Um, also, really random side note, I'm obsessed when my hair is in these little clips. Can we, like, make this a thing? Because why do i just feel instantly nicer another thing as well why is it when you have fresh nails do you just instantly want to apply your skincare like hayley bieber like do you feel like her right now just because i have fresh nails someone tell me the science i'm looking so much more presentable i've just done my makeup it was so annoying i did my makeup for tiktok please ignore everything this room is so messy um i did my makeup on tiktok and it deleted all of the footage so stressful i'm gonna go through my little plt order with you now because i picked up some really really cute bits i feel like plt is the perfect place to get last minute holiday bits so i'm going to show you the bits that i have picked up yet to try this stuff on so we'll have to see how it looks but i'm obsessed with these striped cords i love a big oversized shirt as a beach cover-up i picked up this gorgeous one in this blue pinstripe and it has matching shorts where are they? It has these matching little boxer shorts, I would say. I picked these both up in a UK 6 and I just feel like together they're going to look so nice. Or obviously you can wear the shirt separately just with a white bikini, but I love this set so, so much. I'll see if I can pop a little try-on clip of me wearing it because I know it looks so silly holding it up, but... I picked up another co-ord. I'm obsessed with co-ords. I picked up this gorgeous, like, orange, blue, brown mixed print maxi skirt with a matching bandeau top i feel like this coloring with a tan it's gonna look so so good and i feel like my sister's gonna be eyeing up this collard i feel like this is very her um it's also very me but it's very her so we might be sharing this one i picked up this really gorgeous textured dress that has these really nice cutouts at the front like i feel like this is very, very last year i did see a lot of this cutout going on last year but I'm obsessed with it. I picked this up in a UK 6. It's a maxi dress. I just love the texture to it. It's very Dubai-esque and I feel like in the evening this is going to look so good with some white heels, some cream heels. So excited. I don't know if print... Oh, what's going on there? I don't know if print is kind of like been there, done that, but I picked up this co that's almost like this zebra abstract print. I'm obsessed. It comes with a shirt and the trousers and i picked these both up in a uk6 i feel like they'll just look so good together as like a mall outfit in dubai or obviously you can wear it as a beach cover-up you can wear the shirt with just a black bikini or you could wear them both so versatile we love a co-ord piece and i don't know i just really love the print i know it's probably been there done that but i feel like it's gonna look really cute it's up another beach cover-up this is like a laddered knit dress pick this up in the uk6 this is supposed to be petite but it looks so long like i can't even get it in frame like it's super long i've held it up against me and it looks very long so i'm gonna have to try this on and see this may be returned but i do love like the laddered crochet vibe again i picked up another super abstract print dress this is like a cowl neck 
I would wear this in the evening, obviously. Um, it has adjustable straps for the petite girlies, which we love. Um, but yeah, again, yet to try this on, but I feel like this is a very date night, very evening meal, very holiday vibes. I love the print. I wouldn't wear this usually, but I feel like holiday, we can get the loud prints out. And that's my order. I'm gonna get on to kind of packing, kind of like having an idea of outfit. To be super organized, I actually bought some packing cubes, which I've never used before. I just picked these up from Amazon. They look really cute. They're like nude. Here they are. They kind of like fit inside each other, I imagine, because I got a few. Yeah. Um, I don't know how these are going to go. I don't know if they're going to make the suitcase more bulky than it needs to be, but I'll try them out. Um, we'll see how we go. I'll probably end up just shoving things in, but yeah, there's like various size cubes in here. There's like one for the toiletries and stuff. Let's see how we go. I'm trying to be an organised queen, but I'm literally packing two days before we go. And am I really going to pack today? Probably not. I wanted to show you my case as well. This is a flight night case. I got this on Amazon as well. I have all of the sizes. We got matching cabin. We got medium and a large as well. Um, obviously, mine is the large. Bailey uses the medium. Um, so we're going to be packing all our stuff into these suitcases. They're very heavy duty. Like, they do get scratched, but obviously they're not really expensive so it doesn't really matter um and obviously the cabin ones stay with you so i'm gonna pack my cabin i usually like putting shoes in here because i like to keep like my more expensive items with me just in case anything happens um and yeah let's get on to packing let's see how we go let's see what outfits we have I have picked up quite a lot of new things house of cb House of CB very kindly sent me some stuff. Let me show you. This I will move from here in a second. Um, but I feel like I have a lot of space here, so maybe I won't. But I don't want you to get bored of the situation. So I picked up this gorgeous teal bikini. Love the pattern on that. And then they have matching bottoms. Bailey has some swim shorts that are this colour, so I'm planning on wearing this on the same day. He doesn't know this yet, but I like coordinating, so... This is a really cute little bikini set. They also sent me this absolutely gorgeous hot pink ombre to orange dress. I am absolutely obsessed, like obsessed with this dress. I feel like I love wearing pink. Um, so this is gonna look so, so gorgeous. It's like a really gorgeous hot pink. Very, very summery, very sunset-esque. I'm gonna have to get, well, try to get a sunset pick with this dress on no words whatsoever for this dress i am utterly obsessed i cannot believe that this has been sent to me i'm just so so grateful house of cb is one of my favorite places for dresses and the main event if i must say so myself i absolutely loved this dress i fell in love with it when i saw it on the website it's like this almost it's given leopard print s but it says floral print online but it's like a maxi dress i feel like again this is such a special dress i'm gonna wear this when we're going out for dinner i feel like this is gonna look so gorgeous i absolutely love love this pattern i feel like with blondes this is just gonna look so good on so i'm very very excited i picked up all these dresses in an extra small um for reference you don't even want to see the mess below me actually maybe you do this is what we're dealing with right now. Literally mess everywhere. Cannot deal. Um, please excuse if there's banging downstairs. We have a Tyler doing the tiles and he's literally every two seconds just keeps banging. So if you do hear that, please ignore. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and get onto packing. Maybe I'll film like a little time lapse and kind of stop if I find something cute. I'm um, not really sure how I'm going to do this, but I'm feeling really overwhelmed because there's so much stuff on the floor. Um, <laughs> help, send help. I'm gonna lie, I'd be absolutely lying to you if I told you that I had packed or even attempted to pack since tidying. Um, but I have made a little bit of progress. I've kind of like put things on the floor in like outfits to see what I've got. It's a hot mess, but it's it's a start. Like for example, I've got my shorts, a top and the bag that I would wear with it all together in a pile. Um, so for me, that's a little bit of progress. I can see kind of what's going on. I can see what I maybe don't need because I am an overpacker. Um, but we're making progress. I think I might properly pack 
tomorrow with the cubes um just because it's getting on a little bit now i've got my eyebrows tomorrow i need to go straight and get some last minute bits anyway so i'll probably do all of the packing tomorrow i'll do all the toiletries and everything all in one because it just minimizes the mess and like i hate starting a job and then coming back to it i'd rather just do it all at the same time we get our eyebrows tomorrow we're going to go to the traffic center i'll bring you along and then we will pack i promise um but for now see you tomorrow it's next day and I'm just getting ready to go for my eyebrow appointment. I've just got a blazer on and these little trousers with a stripe down the side. Um, I'm in a major rush. I'm literally late. I'm going to run out now, get the eyebrows done and then we're going to go to the traffic centre. So I'm taking my makeup bag with me as well because this... No. Especially with fresh brows. I'm going to look crazy walking around the traffic centre. So I'm going to have the brows done, do makeup in the car. And then we'll run straps and she got so lucky with that parking space but i'm gonna go into my eyebrows now i am a little bit early on three minutes early so i'm gonna start walking because it is only just there um i'm gonna be scared to vlog i know i am but if i pick up the courage there will be some brow thingy but if not we'll do a transformation anyway just in case um here's the brows before and i'll see you when i get out of the appointment the brows are all done i'm obsessed i have just put some makeup on as well ready to go to the driver center um yeah. Thought I'd address to your elephant in the room, which is the new car. I am obsessed. She's a little 500. Um, she's beige. She's gorge. Um, but I'm going to go to the traffic now before anyone thinks that I am literally crazy. The brows are looking unreal. Even Gronya said, she was like, just vlog. Like, it's fine. Like, Mary vlogs when she's in here. Molly vlogs. And I was like, I'm still too shy. So, I need to work on that. When we go to the traffic centre, I promise I will actually get some footage of me not sat in this vehicle. Um, but, yeah very excited for Dubai now I feel like I'm fully prepped just need to get some last minute bits so let's off to the traffic centre we have this last pair in so I feel like I'm gonna have to get them because I literally came here to try these on the woman was like don't think we have them um but they do I feel like I need your opinion but we'll see if that happens to me right now so I think I'm gonna make purchase because they literally look so cute just in mango I'm obsessed with this little tan bag I literally don't need another bag, but I don't actually have a tan one and I'm obsessed with the way it looks. I like it's like designer inspired, but is that kind of giving me the ick also? I don't know. I feel like I prefer the tan. I'm also enjoying this one, but I have too many black shoulder bags, so I think I'm going to go for the tan one. I think there's some sun cream in boots. We always forget sun cream and it's really expensive in Dubai, I don't know why. Um, and I really like getting a salt tan. There is a boots in Dubai, but again, like I said, everything's more expensive, so they do have salt tan, but I also don't really enjoy the sprays. What noises? Um, go with a classic 30, because, I mean, I know you're supposed to use 50, but we want to get tan. I literally just bought two pairs of sunglasses, because they had an offer on. So, got new sunglasses for Dubai, but I'm just in Jelly Cat, and I've wanted this bean for ages, like I can't tell you how long I've wanted the bean for. Me and Bailey call each other beans as an insult, like, oh you're a bean, and how cute is that guy, so I'm gonna have to get him now. Am I glad to be back in this car? Oh my god, I'm so tired and all I've done is shop, like I need to get a grip. Um, it's five o'clock, I'm gonna hit rush hour, but... <sighs> can't deal hopefully i can drive with you staying there like i don't know how well this is gonna go but we're gonna try it out we're on the road um you are just balancing so i presume you're not gonna stay there for very long i've just got back i thought i'd show you my hair properly um this is a lot, lot curlier than I would usually do it myself, but these have been done with a new GHD straighteners that are supposed to be like mimicking curler curls, if that makes sense, but yeah, it's just a little bit curly for me, like it's this bit, like I would personally prefer that to be more straight, um, but they should last for tomorrow, I'm hoping, you see what I mean, I feel a little bit like a King Charles Spaniel. Um, I definitely shouldn't do this in my outfit, but we're going to wing it. Um, maybe I'll put some clips in just to get my hair away, but I'm obsessed with this Tantor pen. It's from Forever Sundays and it's gorgeous. I think this is like the only kind of tan touring pen you can get. It's very similar to like the Charlotte Tilbury blush ones and contour ones, like where it's got that applicator. And honestly, I just love the way that this makes my face look. It's instant as well. I don't think it's instant tan though. 
I think, does it say? Mm, it doesn't say but I don't think it's instant however the colour that it gives you like the guide colour like you are good to go so I'm just going to look instantly better once I've put this on so I always love to put it kind of down my neck um, you kind of have to work in sections with this because it does dry really quickly um, and I'm just taking a big brush like this this is also from Forever Sundays um, my voice is going to sound super crazy whilst I do this um, I'm just rubbing that down the neck just so the neck matches and then I'm just going to apply it the way I would apply contour um, literally on my cheeks and my jawline like I said I'm going to do like sections because it literally if this dries it dries like this and it doesn't look cute so I'm going to work in sections and just blend this in but honestly I'm so excited now my bedding is currently in the wash I always love putting fresh bedding ready for when I return from a trip so <laughs> bedding's in the wash ready and raring to go um, and yeah I'm literally just waiting around to be honest I'm very organised weirdly and I'm so glad I managed to get in with my girl just to <laughs> with my girl with my hair girl just to pop some layers in and stuff before I go because I'm just loving my hair. I feel like it looks so good. I'm loving it. Yesterday I was a little bit like, ooh. Um, maybe I'll show you my purchases as well that I picked up in Traffic Centre. I mean, like my big purchases. I mean, I picked up loads of random little bits, which I've already packed. But my sunglasses that I picked up, I didn't even show you. I picked up two pairs. I was really naughty um, instead of one. Um, but yeah, I am planning on giving one of them to my sister while sharing. So technically, I only bought myself one pair and I'm going to give her the others. Um, that's what I'm telling myself anyway. Um, so yeah, I'll show you those. And yeah, we're literally ready and raring to go. I'm so excited. Um, but like, how much better does my face look now? Just with a little bit of colour, um, all thanks to this little pen. And I feel like it's literally instant. Like, it looks like this after, like, normally I put it on... <coughs> don't know what just happened there. Normally I put it on before bed. So I'd say like eight hours, maybe six to eight hours, you wait for it to develop. But it literally looks exactly like this when it's developed. Um... And it just gives you that nice healthy glow, snatches the jawline. And yeah, I just kind of wish that I was permanently gorgeous and tan like this. So yeah, Forever Sundays, little plug. Um, definitely not sponsored, I wish it was, but you need to try this. It's the best little face tan ever because I'm that type of girl. If I put face tan on, I don't know why, but it just sits funny. Like it always pats you around my nose, like never looks good. Like, you know, spray ones, I've tried them all. Um, so this for me, is like the best face tan I've ever, ever tried. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start rambling now. Looking a little bit more presentable, I'm gonna sort out my like toiletry bag, which is pretty boring, so I'll just get that done. Need a little close up on the face. Sorry, does that not look insane? Because yes, it does. My brows, I'm so obsessed with as well. I feel like I didn't really give them a moment yesterday. Here's the hair in better lighting. I just love the flicky under like look at the moment I'm usually a curly hair girl and obviously I've had all the front layered which I think looks so so good um but yeah I have just come home just received oh, this H&M parcel so I'm hoping there's got some last minute bits in here oh yes oh yes I remember now got this gorgeous set I'm obsessed with these like abstract prints at the moment um these, these are actually supposed to be pyjamas, but I'm going to wear it as more of like a beach cover-up vibe. So, has these gorgeous drawstring trousers, and the pattern is just unreal. I kind of feel like it's giving Fendi vibes, do you know what I mean? Um, and then here is the matching shirt, which obviously I'll probably wear open with a bikini, but that is beautiful. I cannot wait to wear that. I'm so happy that's come in time. Um, I also picked up a really random top. Um, let's just see, I forgot what this looks like. Oh yeah, it's really cute. It's one of those tops that has like a top intertwined, if you can see that. Love. Um, and finally, I picked up another top. This is really nice again. I would wear this with jeans. I'm probably not going to take this with me, but it's like a bandeau, has a slit at the side. Um, just a classic plain cream top. I feel like that would look really nice for like date night, going for a meal with your friends or something like that. It's just like a nice top to wear with jeans but I probably won't take that but I'll definitely shall I take that I don't know if that's really random but that could look cute to the mall with some jeans so maybe I will 
yeah I'm gonna take that and then obviously so happy this has arrived I'm so so buzzing um but yeah I just need to make a little bag with my toiletries in well the toiletries I need to swap over basically I've already done it but I need a clear bag do you know when you have to take a clear bag it's really annoying because in Dubai if you're flying anywhere you don't need to take your liquid separate and electrics like their like security is so much better like they can see everything in your bag without having to like separate liquids and like large electricals like everything's good you just pop your bag in and go and everything's good but obviously Manchester and a lot of places in the UK I think I never flew from anywhere like London as well um yeah you have to put like your liquids in a separate bag so I'm gonna have to put like my makeup bits that I'm gonna be taking on the plane and lip balm stuff like that into a clear makeup bag so that's the that's what's going on now but I just wanted to show you my airport fix I'm definitely I'm gonna wear this but I literally had this on yesterday these trousers are Miss Selfridge the top is from Sisters and Seekers and this blazer is also Sisters and Seekers and the colour match somebody stopped me yesterday in Mango when I was in the traffic centre and was like where is your suit from you look insane and I was like it's not actually a suit it's two separate pieces from two different shops so yeah Miss Selfridge and I love these striped trousers um blazer I just feel like a corporate girly but like also quite put together like I'm just loving loving this look so I'm gonna wear this to the airport um with my Sambas I think um or my Axels probably the Axels because I don't want to take the Sambas to Dubai so it makes sense to wear shoes that I want to take with me so I'm packing less I'm just rambling now but yeah airport fit ready to go so excited I've already packed my tripod so I've just got you balancing and I've zoomed you in a little bit because you are balanced quite far away so I hope this is okay but I thought I would talk through the sunglasses that I picked up yesterday because oh my god I'm so so excited so they actually had in store the Celine Triumph sunglasses I've been looking for these for a while she said to me these are gold dust if you don't buy them you're very silly and I was like okay I'll buy them literally I'm a sales assistant's dream trust me um the case itself is so beautiful I think it has a little strap as well which is really cute um but I did try these on in the store I'm pretty sure I did video so I'm sure you've seen them but we'll pop them on now so you can see how they look oh my god I'm sorry these are a slightly more dressy sunglass so I feel like these will look really nice if we're going for lunch or something sunset dinner like I wouldn't want to ruin these around the pool because they're literally really dainty gorgeous frames and I'm so happy I got these and the fact that they're gold dust and I have myself a pair pretty happy with that um and when you bought a pair I think you got 30% off the second pair so obviously I picked up some others so obviously so if you've picked if you watch my last vlog uh, with my sister, she was eyeing up Miu Miu sunglasses. So I picked them up for her, but obviously I want to share. So I bought them so I can literally say to her, like, we're sharing. Um, but they are technically for her. She's coming around in a minute and I'm going to surprise her with them. Um, if you didn't watch the vlog, look how beautiful these sunglasses are. They're literally insane. Like, they're a black frame with a beautiful, like, two-tone detailing and... These are definitely more like around the pool sunglasses because obviously they're like plastic and you probably wouldn't mind kind of getting these wet and stuff whereas the Celine obviously are definitely more dressy and I will be taking care of those because they were double the price of these ones but yeah, um, very excited to give these to Annabelle. I'll see if I can film it when she comes around later if she's feeling up to it um, but yeah, I'm so, so excited to give these to her um, but yeah they are my two quite large purchases i made yesterday um very 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 exciting and i'm really excited to wear my sunglasses like literally even the case is just unreal like i'm gonna have to put them back on i feel like these are gonna look really nice with my hair up as well oh, stunning i always like can't see myself when i've got sunglasses on but but yeah, for now, I literally need to do the toiletry bag I was telling you about. So maybe we'll just do that together. Um, here's the bean that I got yesterday as well. He's just sat with the marshmallows. I gave him to Bailey and he was literally laughing, like a little smiley bean. I wanted him to take him with him today, but he said he didn't want to bring bean to Dubai. So bean's not coming to Dubai, but he's so cute. So here's what we're working with. This is my makeup bag and I do want to take this bag. Um, but as I said before, I need to like transfer things 
to the clear bag because you have to have it in a clear bag which is really annoying but yeah um i'm gonna take the tan top pen i used before definitely because i feel like i'll be able to use that and obviously the brush this is going to get really full really easily i'm going to have to put bailey's um hair product in because he left that on the side earlier so it's going to have to come with um i'm going to take my road lip uh, lip what's this called lip treatment and my beloved Clarins Lip Perfector as well. I always get scared that they're going to be like over the limit. Um, I'm also going to take a concealer just in case I decide to put a little bit of makeup on before we get off the plane, which I probably won't, but I like to have the option. And then I'm going to take powder to set that as well. Um, I think that's everything that I'm going to take. Which is actually quite good because oh wait I need a brush don't I? I need a makeup um, a foundation and a powder brush. So I'll pop them in there. Um, and then I should be good to go. Um, there's nothing else in there that I need to take. The rest of it I can put in the main suitcase, but I just wanted to make sure I had a bag of goodies um, for the plane just in case I needed them. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything actually. Oh maybe a lip liner, which isn't even a liquid anyway, but we'll pop that in go so yeah that is that bag and now this bag is slightly condensed i'm gonna have to try and squeeze this into the main suitcase uh which is going to be a mission um but i literally can't go without this bag like i, I love it um oh yeah and the brushes as well like i'm pretty sure have i already shown you this i'm not sure i don't think i did actually um but yeah it's the refine makeup bag and it comes with like a brush holder which is so handy um and they do wipe clean like this is literally filthy but i do need to clean it um i'm just gonna pop that in there and pop this into the main suitcase and then shut that up and that's me done ready to go basically um what time is it now um it's three o'clock we're leaving at half five so i've got a little bit of time the bedding is currently drying that i said i put in the wash before um oh i need to i can't forget these face cloths as well i put them in this bag um there to take my makeup off with with the elements that's already in there so yeah i'm just waiting for annabelle now um to give her the sunglasses by the way annabelle's coming later in the trip like she's flying on her own so she's not coming today which is why i'm giving her the sunglasses now because i want her to know that she's got them in fear that she might buy them for them for herself and also because i just want i'm too impatient like i need her to know that i've got them and i can't withhold this information from her so yeah i want to let her know and I nearly forgot this cough as well. Yeah, that's me. Um, I will catch up when I've had a shower and stuff and we're basically like ready to go. Just arrived everyone, straight from work. I'll come for a comfort burn. Taking a coat up and she's ready to receive. Ooh. Get a little something in there, girl. It's the Mimi. Stop. Have you watched me? Could be the Mimi's. I'm gonna scream if you've got Mimi's. She's ready for the way. Good morning. Yeah. You've got them. No, you shouldn't have done that. I feel really bad. Like... Fine. Do you want to She loves them. The case for Eddie. Is stunning. How nice is the case? If you watch the vlog, you know. I've already said this, I've already had this conversation before you come. She's fapping them up. Here she goes, this is her moment. You've got one minute left, girl. <laughs> oh god, I'm looking her in disguise. Stunning. God, she's ready for Dubai. No, I'm sorry I'm sorry. See you there. So you already given them a yeah, they've, they've, they've seen it all. Oh sorry guys. Wasn't here. It's absolutely stunning. Well, you're welcome. In the case. In the girl. Thank you so much. You're welcome. See you in Dubai, love. See you in Dubai, guys. My little red nose and me just wanted to sign off this vlog. Um, it was a big rush after Annabelle left and we rushed to the airport um, and I didn't film anything. And today I've been so tired. We arrived here at 8am. Um, so we've had a full day. I have burned my nose really badly. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and vlog this trip. So I'm gonna end this little pack with me here. Um, thank you so much for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed. I know it's something a little bit different for me. 
Um, but yeah, thank you for watching as always and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye guys!